Hello, uh, YouTube viewers. My name is Mebo uh, from Out and Proud African LGBTIQ+. With me here, we have Lanre. He's going to share with us about his experience. Because um, I understand you've been selected, you've been shortlisted as part of the National Diversity Awards. Tell us, uh, what's your view? What do you have to share with the, our viewers today about well, it? Well, thank you very much, Mebo. Um, being shortlisted, uh, for the uh, National Diversity Award is a role model for the LGBT, positive role model mm. for the LGBT uh, category. Mm. Um, I am over the moon. Why? Because um, it is uh, recognition of mm. the good job that we are doing as yeah. a community, out and proud African LGBTI. Mm. And being shortlisted, we have to understand that um, there were about 50,000 nominations, mm. over 50,000 nominations, and uh, to have been shortlisted, it's an honor, it's a recognition, not only to me, it's for the entire community. So to the National Diversity Award, we want to say a very big thank you. To the judges, a very big thank you. The National Diversity Award and ITV News, they are doing a fantastic work, recognizing role models in various communities, especially in the LGBT community. Mm. We know um, all the hurdles that we have to cross, yeah. being gay men, lesbians, mm. and uh, for us to have that kind of recognition. Mm. You know, during the um, lockdown, there were so many people, so many vulnerable in the community, yeah. and uh, we were able to uh, stretch hands of fellowship to them, mm. assisted with uh, medications and all those stuff. Mm. And uh, like I said earlier, it is a recognition of the good work that we are doing um, as a community. Okay. So uh, we are very delighted mm -hmm. and uh, a very big thank you to National Diversity Award yes. uh, in conjunction with ITV News once again. Thank you very much. Expect us in February. We are coming big time. We are coming. For the grand finale. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Always um, nice to be at the Out and Proud African LGBT YouTube channel. Um, is to highlight uh, the progress the LGBT community have made and um, hear inspiring stories from uh, members and our supporters all over the world. Um, it's a, we don't like sharing sad stories, but it is a sad one this week. Why? Because um, the Home Office have just commenced the um, harsh, harsh environment, harsh uh, treatment to the LGBT communities. Um, Zimbabweans were some Zimbabweans. I don't know the figures. Were deported back to uh, Zimbabwe. Some Nigerians. And uh, we thought with, uh, we thought things have, will, will be changed, that mm. we are in a new era and Pretty Patel mm. will show um, her human nature mm. and uh, hear the cries of the whole world. Mm. Now the LGBT members being sent back to Africa, we know um, how retrogressive various governments back home are. You understand and some of these people some have not even visited Africa before yeah. and uh, for one reason or the other they've been deported to Zimbabwe deported to Nigeria I mean someone that was born and bred in Britain you know having maybe been sent to jail for a year or two yeah. and he's been punished for the uh, for offense crime. for the crime committed at the end of the day, yeah, the Home Office yeah. is sending them back home. Mm -hmm. It happened mm -hmm. to Jamaicans in the past and mm -hmm. it's still going to happen. Yeah. You know, so the whole world just needs to know what is happening right now. Mm -hmm. Well, that is that. Today is a Reclaim Pride, Pride. March. Yes. It is to show our <clears throat> appreciation to the world, mm -hmm. to express how we've gone. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, the LGBT community we, um, in various countries, yeah. the gay men, the lesbians are not accepted until just about 50 years ago. Yes. And 
all the battles that have been fought, mm. the March Pride is the celebration. Yes. It is for the world to know that I am gay, there are lesbians, we are born the way we are. Mm. I mean, sexuality needs no cure. Yes. Yes, our viewers, that was a word and a message from our friend, Lanre. He's been telling us about the National Diversity Awards, how he was nominated. Um, thank you for watching. We appreciate your contribution to our community as well. Like, share, subscribe and create awareness because it's all we need. Thank you very much. Thank you.